addition to 3D printing and CNC milling, Kirimoto has laser cutting. So I'm going to show you a workflow for, that I use to go from on shape to my Glowforge laser cutter. Um, I've created this uh, spiffy little model here, which is a plaque. Uh, it's got <clears throat> different layers in it. Um, and Kirimoto already does this interesting thing with slicing where we can turn this into layers. Let me, if you're inside of on shape and you can do this directly uh, with Kirimoto on the website through grid space, but um, it's also embedded into on shape here in this case, if you want to add it, add application, go to the app store, you'll find it really easily, it's free. Uh, if you go over to the Kirimoto tab inside of Onshape and click import, you can bring in your design. And we are in laser mode here, not FDM or CNC, but laser mode. And once you have the design in, um, there are a few simple options for slicing this thing. What we're gonna do first is uh, choose a height of zero and turn off single. And when we slice it, what we'll notice is that Kirimoto puts uh, a layer or a cut in between each of the detected layers that it sees. And you can see that right there. So that ends up with three different layer cuts and I've put in holes for registration so that I can basically stick this thing together after it's laser cut. Um, and uh, traditionally when you would go inside of uh, Kirimoto and create these slices and go to do a print preview, you would see the three different layers that were gonna be cut out. You would cut them out, then you would stack them. Now, uh, there's a new use case where if I don't wanna cut these things out all the way, or I want to do some etching or something like that, then when I go back into slicing mode, I can click on merged. And when I click on preview, it does a stacking where each of the stacked layers where they interfere creates a new color. And uh, at this point, when I go to export it, instead of getting the three different pieces, I can export it, download it as an SVG, shows up down here. Then I can go over to my Google Forge tab in my browser, drag the file onto my Glowforge, <clears throat> and once it's imported, you'll notice something really interesting. It comes in as a single piece, but on the left-hand side, you've got the different regions that you can specify as, for example, cut and cut here. And instead of uh, cutting, I can say I want to score that one. I click on that one and say I want to uh, engrave that one. So you can end up with a totally different, easy workflow um, straight from design to your laser cutter. So I hope that's... Uh, interesting and useful and a, and a huge time saver for you guys and uh, put questions below and I can uh, do a follow-up with any details that I missed here.